Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 84. That is, what is backward traceability matrix? Let me answer. Backward traceability matrix is one of the types of RTMs. Okay, so there are multiple types of RTMs like forward traceability matrix, backward traceability matrix, and bidirectional traceability matrix, where backward traceability matrix is one of the type of RTM. Where what is RTM then? RTM stands for requirements traceability matrix okay the full form of rtm is requirements traceability matrix the purpose of the rtm is to map the requirements with the test cases okay so no matter which type of rtm you are referring the only purpose is to map the requirements with the test cases okay the client specified requirements will be mapped with the tester created test cases that's what is rtm purpose but there are different types of rtms as i already mentioned where backward traceability matrix is one of the types of rtm so how this backward traceability matrix is created? What is the process of creating the backward traceability matrix? So to get started guys, okay, we'll start with the test cases, okay? So test cases uh, will be mentioned in the backward traceability matrix in the document that is RTM document. Uh, if that RTM type is backward traceability matrix, the first column will be the test cases. So the test case IDs will be mentioned in the first column. And for each and every test case ID, Okay, for each and every test case ID, it will be mapped with the respective requirements in the next phase. First, all the test case IDs will be mentioned in the RTM document, and these test cases will be mapped with the requirements. So here, test cases are identified first. After that, these test cases are getting mapped to the requirements. Requirements are not mapped to the test cases. Test cases are getting mapped to the requirements. That is what is backward traceability matrix. Okay, here we are mapping the test cases with the requirements in the reverse direction. So since we are uh, generally, if you talk about RTM, we generally say that uh, RTM maps requirements with the test cases, right? So this is actual way, right? Where requirements are mapped with the test cases, actual way. But in case of backward traceability matrix, the reverse process is happening where instead of requirements getting mapped with the test cases, test cases are getting mapped with the requirements, okay? First test cases are identified, and for each and every test case ID, we are mapping with the requirements in a reverse way. That's why backward traceability matrix is also known as reverse traceability matrix, because the process is happening in a reverse manner where first test case IDs are mentioned in the RTM document, and for each and every test case ID, we are mapping the test case IDs with the requirements. So what is the purpose? Why we have to map the uh, test cases with the requirements in this backward traceability matrix and what is the benefit we are, that we are going to add, achieve. So the benefit here is, so we can check the current scope of testing guys, okay? With the help of the backward traceability matrix, we can check the, by mapping the test cases with the requirements, we can check the current scope of testing by verifying whether any new functionalities are added to the requirements for which test cases are not documented in a reverse way. Okay, here the purpose is simply to find out the current scope of testing. Are there any changes in the current scope of testing because of any new functionalities or changes happened in the requirement level? Okay, to find out that, to figure out that, to figure out the current scope of testing the testers have to actually perform. To do that, we create the backward traceability matrix. As you can see in this image, guys, how the backward traceability matrix will work. You see, first test case IDs will be derived. Okay, for each and every test case ID will be mapped with the requirement IDs. Okay, the test case IDs will be mapped in a reverse way to the requirements. And the purpose is to see whether the current scope of the testing is same or any changes happened because of any uh, new functionalities or change requests added to the requirements. Okay, so whatever the test cases that are not documented, we can identify and see what is the current scope of testing. Are there any changes in the current scope of testing? We have to identify with the help of the backward traceability matrix. So hope guys you understood what exactly is a backward traceability matrix in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you bye bye.